Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Tuki Baby, and I got my two girls with me. This is Essence. You can follow me on Instagram at Essence Imani. I M A N I I with two eyes. Period. And my girl. Hey y'all, it's Soraya, aka Raya. You can follow me on Instagram at Scorpio That Baby with three Y's. And subscribe to my YouTube channel at XOXO Raya. Period. Period. Let's get right into it. So guys, so in today's video, it's a little different. So I'm doing a podcast and I got my girls with me. So basically I have a list full of questions about relationship. You know, we just having a girls talk, just chilling, vibing. We got the Hennessy on deck for the Henny. <laughs> period. And we just going to be, you know, just answering these questions. So let's just get right into it. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So the first question is. Do you prefer to be in a relationship or be single? Who want to go first? Honestly, I prefer being in a relationship because I can't do a single life. So I don't have time for <laughs> dates. I don't have time for to oh my God. be all up in niggas' faces. I don't have time for that. I only want one man. Period. One man only. I, I would rather be in a relationship. Reason being is because, like, being single is lonely as fuck and I got kids. I ain't got time to keep no and I don't do that anyways. I don't do that. But still like I don't got time to keep trying to introduce myself to new niggas, keep getting more body counts. Like anybody got time for that? I want one man and one man only. That's it. What about you, my girl? Younger me? What is that? <laughs> Period. What is that single? But now that I'm a mom and I'm older, I understand life been through so much. Definitely a relationship. Period. It's too much in this world. It's too much of a headache. Mm -hmm. I can't be balancing out multiple people, no, multiple no, energies. Period. I'd rather be with one person and one person only. For period. sure. Period. All right. So, guys. So, the next question is, does good sex determine if you cheat or not? <laughs> Come on, ladies. Let's get into it. Oh, ladies. <laughs> I mean... Like, if I'm dating some guy, somebody and he don't know how to have sex, I'm not going to cheat, but I'm going to leave. But I would try to teach you. If I really yeah, like I you, I'll try to teach you, teach like, you. how to fuck me. But I'm not going to keep teaching a nigga how to fuck me. Like, I'm a grown-ass woman. Like, bitch, you need to come and handle your business. So, it's like, with that, bitch, I got to go. But I'm willing to work with you to see how far it gets. Like, I got I'm sorry. I got to go. I'm not teaching shit. <laughs> I still got to learn my damn self. I'm not teaching no shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, oh the sex God. is whack. Oh, you got to go. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not cheating. I don't have time for that. Period. Like, no. Yeah, if you're not happy, just leave. Exactly. <laughs> like, hell no. What's the heck? All right. What are you the answer? If you're not happy, just leave. Period. <laughs> period. That's it. Period. Period. Okay, so the next question is, would you date a married man? You got hush money. Because <laughs> like, you got it. <laughs> hey, I'm not. I'm playing, I'm playing. Period. Go ahead, my girl. No. I have morals. Like, me personally, I wouldn't want that happening to me. So right. I wouldn't even open up the door for something like that to even come back to eat me up. So right. absolutely not. I don't have time for the karma. Period. I don't have time for it. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Period. I wouldn't date a married man. But like, if the nigga ain't tell me he was married and we already did what we did, I mean. That's a different story. Yeah. You know? but we went into it blindly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Me knowing yep. it and hell no. Because these niggas be lying. They lying be lying their ass off. And once I find out, bitch, guess who I'm calling? I have my way. <laughs> I have my ways. I'm gonna find your wife phone number and I'm gonna call that bitch. And What's I'm gonna tell up? Everything. I want to report. And now we both fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and now we both fuck. Like you got me messed up. Like I'm not gonna lose my blessing because I want to fuck with a married man. Like what is that gonna do to me? Like for me, nothing at all. Nothing. Please. But bad luck and karma. Yeah. No. Your soulmate is not that lady's husband. Exactly. No. And, and one thing, he would never leave his wife for you. Mm -mm. They gonna lie and lie. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. No, you're not, sir. Get out. They, of my they definitely would not. <laughs> they 
me. You've been right there for years. Yep. Bitch. And they don't be a side bitch. bitch. Exactly. Who got time for that? I don't they not, for that. They not leaving. They wise. They, they gonna move the clothes okay. in exactly. and be gone. They gonna, keep, nice. they gonna keep you here, have fun with you, tell mm-hmm. you what you wanna hear. But it, you, they would never leave their wife. Ever. And if they leave their wife, boo, the same way you got here, the same you way you're going to lose them. Period. That's it. Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next question is, these questions, you see, pull me up, please. <laughs> All right, so the next question is, what is your biggest turnoff in a relationship? <laughs> Attention. If my man is not giving me attention, that's a turn off for me. I don't Period. care. And I'm a jealous person. So all that Period. flirty shit. Let it be known. Me, okay. <laughs> when I'm watch what like if I'm with my man and I see them talking to another bitch and it's friendly, I'm jealous. I'm gonna walk up there and make it known that I'm I'm your bitch. Period. Because I don't have time for that. And if you're not giving me attention, I should be you should be calling me, texting me, all about me. True. If if I'm not getting your attention, who getting your attention? That's a turn off. They turn off. Period. What about you, sis? <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta narrow this down. Period. My biggest my one of my biggest turn off is a friendly ass nigga. Like I hate a friendly ass nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, you just don't understand. Like, I don't want my nigga to be in everybody's face. I don't know. Saying hi to everybody. He got all my homegirls number. Like, I don't want That's that. That's crazy. Like. That's insane. No, man. Like, I don't want no, no friendly Not the homegirls number. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, I don't want that. Like, I want my nigga to be discreet. Like, if he, if he for me, that's it. Like, I don't want you to be friendly to, and, and not even being friendly with women. Being friendly with niggas too, like I don't want you in every nigga face. Like these niggas know you, so if something happened, they could always come back to you. I want my nigga low key as fuck. Period. And, and that's it. Bad. And bad. That's, it. that's it. Um, my biggest turn off would be friendliness, like y'all said, and inconsistency for sure. Mm-hmm. If you can't match the energy you come with. By all means, period. Keep it moving. Exactly. Don't keep don't it moving. Come. Oh you my god, a facade. Exactly. You know how and then you that, from day one, exactly. keep that same person here at all times, and we'll be good. Because uh, the moment she's with y'all, you gotta go. Yep. Thank you. I, I hate that. that. Uh-huh. Make you think they an angel, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you find a demon, a demon in the disguise, bitch. Hell, it all goes to hell. I'm good, bitch. No, can't do it. Not at all. Period. <laughs> so next question is, do you date based off of status and money? By status, I mean like, would you date a nigga knowing that he's a celebrity or like he's that nigga, he a boss ass nigga, and you just trying to date him just to get what you want? Yep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> trust. Let them know. <laughs> no, if I don't like you and you have all those things. I'm gonna use you to get up there because if I'm low, if I'm down, you you a blessing from God for me to go up. True, like, if you make it like and that. Once I'm done, get it like that, yeah. Once I'm done, you, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with you no more. But if I like you, it's not gonna be about the status or anything like that. Right. It's about your personality and all that stuff. Right. I could agree. It's based on whether I like you or not. Honestly, mm-hmm. if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna take what I'm, I need. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not gonna date a nigga based off of status and money. Like, bitch, I got my own money and I got my own status. But like she said, like if that nigga's willing to help, bitch, I'm gonna take. Who's not gonna take if somebody's giving, uh, especially willingly? Fuck, like, bitch, crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm taking it. Okay, <laughs> so. Put it if you put it like that, then yeah. But yeah, but solely just off of based on what you, like based off of what you have, no, I'm yeah, not gonna no. hurt you because of that. Hell no, especially um. Do you know how many bitches be having to talk with steak bread ass niggas just because they got a bag? If, oh, Bro. that's a turn off. Be, yeah, that's one of my biggest turn off. A steak bread. If your hygiene, 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 hygiene is off, that's a fucking turn off. I don't have time for that. My brain don't stick. I don't need my nigga to stick. Hell no. Ooh. I'm looking at fingernails. Yeah. I'm looking at how your toes grow. Disgusting. How how and and if a nigga say going to the fucking nail salon and getting their toes done is gay. Turn off. Listen, <laughs> they ain't got time. Cause you're not clean. You're not about to snatch up my sheet. Hell no. Hell no. Yes. Like that's nasty. Like if your breath stink, I could just imagine how your dick feels. Yeah. Like, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pissing ass. Not like, edit that part out. 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 Edit that part out.
right out. <laughs> like, no, sir. I'm just enough for me. Oh, my God. No. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> but, yeah. But, okay, so next question. Would you consider to have an open relationship if the man had money? No. Fuck no. No. <laughs> Why? 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 I'm not no. going to, um, how you say that, um, I don't know if I'm not meant, myself Let me put you off, sorry. Let me get you off. <laughs> <on. laughs> let, let them know, so I'm not mentally built. So you got nothing <laughs> of mine. Sharing I'm not sharing my food. I'm not sharing my kids. I'm not sharing my man. Hell so, open relationship because you got money. Absolutely not. Uh, hell no. I don't have time for that. No. So, people could go blast me talking about, oh, she's with him, blah, blah, blah. He's going on. He's dogging her out, blah, blah, blah. And I see that so much. I don't and have time it's so embarrassing. That. Like, I don't have time for that. I, I never get my own girl. Exactly. I'll get my own uh-uh, Like, I don't fuck no. that. Never Hell that no. Open relationship. But I wouldn't let a guy have an open relationship while I'm with them. Like, I feel like that's stupid as fuck. Like, you a weak ass bitch. If you What's the point of like, being in a relationship? And that's and disrespectful because you making it seem like I'm not enough for you. Yeah, that's not like. I mean, if the nigga is cheating and I don't know nothing about it that's one, and that's he got different. money, bitch, that's different. But if I'm knowingly knowing he's sleeping with Tasha, Keisha, and Chanel, <laughs> bitch, no, I'm not fucking mm-hmm. with you. Hell no. Fuck no. no. Come again, wrong son. bitch. Nah. <laughs> right there, wrong man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Period. Mm-hmm. Right. So, next question is What do you value in a relationship? What do you value in a relationship? What do I value in a relationship? Um, honestly, time. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people don't make time for their significant others, like they have a million excuses. That's so, true. if a person is willing to shorten their day at work or just simply come home with flowers a little bit earlier than mm-hmm. usual, I value like small stuff like that. Definitely for me. Yeah, time and affection. Right. Because mm-hmm. if you're not showing me no love, then what's that? Exactly. I would say time too. Time is my biggest one because it's like. If you fuck with me, you're going to want to spend your time with me. Like, you people make time for what they want and what they like. So, you got to make time for me. Like, if I ain't getting the time, period. (laughs) (laughs) Period. Okay, so next question is, would you date a man whose family doesn't like you? No. I might date in the family or him. I did. I made him an orphan, like Rob Kardashian. Because <laughs> I'm not dating the mom, I'm not dating the daddy, I'm dating the... So you don't give a damn? I don't care. You don't like me, that's your business. Period. But your son like me, though. <laughs> and I mean... <laughs> I have. But, like, now going forward, thinking, like, long term with, like, kids involved and stuff like that, I wouldn't. But you don't know they might grow on you. Once you have kids, it might they might grow on you, you know? But... I mean, I would say my answer would be yes and no. Because, okay, like, it would be uncomfortable to, for me. Because, like, most men listen to their, most men mother. adore their mothers and listen to their mothers. So, it's like, if your mother keep constantly telling you, like, she's a hoe or she's not good for you, she don't do this. You know it's going to make you think, you get what I'm saying? It's going to make you think, like, damn, if my mom don't like her, she might not be the one for me. Cause I don't know. Sometimes mama be hate like they. They be, be hating. Hate, they be wanting to sleep with their son. I said it. <laughs> I fucking said it. I believe in well, the most incest for real. So that's true. That's true. That's true. I don't know. I would say yes and no too, depending on the situation. If the people are like okay enough to probably work with in the future, mm-hmm. then yes. But if it's like a cut dry, like no, no, because I know it's not gonna work long term when kids yeah. get involved. Ain't nobody mistreating my children. Period. So, you know. I said, like I said, I'll say yes and no. It depends on the type of level. Like, how she said, like, if I, I'm not dating the mom or the dad, so, like, yeah, I don't mm-hmm. give a damn. But, it's like, if he's, like, a family man and he's close to his family, that shit's going to hurt me because yeah, you're, you're going to be involved. excluded. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't go to a family reunion because your mama don't like me. Like, <laughs> and I like to eat. Like, stop playing. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. It's like a yes and a no. It depends. Yeah, that's tricky. It, yeah, it depends. But next question: What would your ideal wedding look like? Twenty people there. <laughs> it's me. me. <laughs> Definitely me. I barely got. 
Ooh. I'm not friendly. I rarely got friends anyways, but I want a big wedding, but with like family right. and friends and all that stuff. And I want to be extravagant and princess and nice long dress, beautiful hair. Me too. Mm -hmm. I want to get married. White a dress. fairy tale, big mm -hmm. wedding, beautiful. My color is like that velvet green. Oh, y'all want colored. Y'all don't want yes. the traditional color. I want a colored wedding. I want I want everybody to wear white and I wear pink. That's no, nice. I want all my girls in that velvet green. That's cute. I wear white or like, you know, something lace. I see myself in like a little lacy mermaid type dress, big, wide, like trail. But my girls gotta wear that velvet green. Yeah. Period. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But like with the guests coming, probably like ten people. Because, <laughs> like, no, seriously, y'all can watch it on Space Time Live, YouTube, like, whatever. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because not everybody coming to your wedding is coming to bless you. People is coming to eat their food and talk about you. That's it, and I ain't got friends anyways. So, <laughs> so, yeah, like, my ideal wedding is to spend all the money on me, my decoration, and, like, the 10 people that's there, get what you get. That's okay? Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's my wedding, so. Same for me. <laughs> that's it. I'm like, so anti-social. I probably got five people in. Like, that's it. That's the girls in the shop. So that's it. <laughs> okay. That's it. So the next question is, how would you keep the sex life exciting in a relationship? Brought like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> what was my plan? Girl, this how we tripping. Okay, seriously, seriously. What? <laughs> Y'all better answer the question because I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Switch it up, man. Role play. Period. No, I love role play. play. That's it. Role play. You gotta Definitely. get me in the. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Dress it up. Make it real for me. Period. I'm gonna switch this wig. Okay. Mm -hmm. Switch it up. Make him feel like he's dating a new woman every I time. Swear. Okay. Role play for sure. Period. Like. Shit, bitch, I get excited by my nigga cooking for me. So. I exactly. Cook some more, babe. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, I don't know. That's it. Switch it up. Man, I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> what is the question again? <laughs> okay. How would you keep the sex life exciting in a relationship? Um, probably you know dominance. Men, well, the niggas I like, I like them for them to like dominance. So I probably you know, or do whatever the hell they, they do. say. Oh, like okay, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, daddy. What about you, friends? <laughs> tie me up. What is that? Oh, tie, tie me up. Tie me up. Yeah, I like role play. You know, play. Yeah. Different outfits, different wigs, yeah. different location. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Take me out of town. Take me out of town. Let's do it in another city. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. How about making? Mm -hmm. How about? How y'all feel about making sex tapes with y'all men? Oh, I do that all the time. Yeah, I don't mind. But only for y'all. But only, only for, for us. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Ain't no only That's fans going on over there. Yeah, that will spice it up. Yeah. Say, say. And then mm -hmm. watch that shit while you at work. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the work. <laughs> hey, Diddy. <laughs> OMG. Okay, so next question is, would you prefer to date a man with kids or not? I mean, <laughs> one child, one baby mother, I'm cool with that, but if you got multiple baby mothers, I'm no, I'm I'm straight. <laughs> it's like all I date. I don't have time. I don't have time for the drama. I don't have time for all that shit. Cause you you got kids, so of course you gonna right. date. Right. But okay, okay. But what if he's the type of guy? He has multiple baby mothers, multiple and he don't kids, take but he don't have drama. Everything like what if he take care of. of his kids? Then okay. But I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. that, no, when you said that multiple baby mothers, that means you never have time for me. <laughs> He might not have time for me. Oh, he got too much. <laughs> too much kids. But and what? I need my time. True. I mean, everybody. I, I mean, me. That question. I, I, it's, like I said, it's like all I dated was niggas with kids. Like, I don't mind dating a guy with kids. As long as he's taking care of his kids. Like, I don't want mm -hmm. no bum ass nigga. Like, if you don't take care of your kids, that means you would never be able to love me genuinely. Because you don't exactly. love me. And then if kids. I have a child with you, you going to fuck me over just like you did. Exactly. Me. So, yeah. like, I don't mind nope. dating a nigga with kids. But. How many kids? <laughs> One. Oh my One. God. Lord, <laughs> would you name a man with ten One kids? One child. Hell no. No. So far, so you don't have time, no time for ten kids. Or my two. How you gonna have time kids. for ten kids? That's two kids. kids. That's insane. Bitch, I can't do that. <laughs> my two driving crazy. That's insane. Ten the kids. The most I take is ten. 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 
is a five piece. Five. That's what my that's, that's what my two that's what my two count is. Uh, yeah, that's what my two count is. Period. Like, so, you say that's piece. twelve kids. <laughs> that's crazy. That's too much. Yeah, yeah ten is a bit straight. No, he, he need to settle down. You need to get a perspective. <laughs> but what about that's he crazy. had? What about he had money and he was taking care of all his ten kids? I'm and, good. <laughs> I don't ten kids, kids, bitch. I might be. Then I'll be a stepmother. Ten kids. That's what I'm saying. He that's might make kids you a mother. He might make you a mother. Bitch. If he kids? got ten, that means he his pull out. His <laughs> pull out. <yeah. laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Okay. So next question is: um, Would you prefer a man that's family oriented or not? Family oriented for sure. Mm-hmm. Period. Me too. Because when I have kids with you, I want us to do everything together. Mm-hmm. If you're not family oriented, that means you're not going to be a part of whatever that I want to do with the kids and you. And like, if I want to do family reunion, re- reunions and all that shit, right. you're not going to want to include yourself because you're not about mm-hmm. that. Right. So. You're like, go to your homeboy's house, you know. Exactly. No, like, I have kids. I need, okay, with me, like I said, I have kids. And I need a father figure with my kids' life. And I need a man around that like to be, you know, let's go out to eat. Let's go get ice cream. I like things like that as a family. Let's go on a vacation. I like that. Like, so if you're not family oriented, that means you, I would never be comfortable with you around my kids. And you a bum. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. When you have kids, it's a whole different level. Like, nigga, you yeah, got to yeah, like yeah. ice cream for that. Like, I don't know. We gotta do park dates. Yeah, like we gotta go to the park. Mm-mm. Hell yeah. no. We gotta go shopping. We gotta cook together. We gotta do everything together. That's, it. That's true. Period. Like, okay, next question is Would you date someone with an aggressive past? Aggressive past, like, what you mean, domestic? Like, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you said what's so wrong? Domestic. Why do you mean domestic? <laughs> um, it could be domestic. So he could beat my ass. <laughs> Cause me, I have a mouth on me, and I don't have time for that. And but different says, people bring out different types of results out of it. Exactly. Yeah. And not every bitch the same. Just cause mm-hmm. he beat her ass, he ain't gonna beat my ass. Bitch, we just gonna fight. So I mean, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, me personally, yes, I would date a man with aggressive past. And cause bitches be lying, bitches be saying niggas hit them, and they don't really hit them. And like I said, every. Girl, every wait, every action is a reaction, and every woman bring out a they different type of nigga. Exactly. exactly, like just because he beat your ass, that don't mean he's gonna beat my ass. And oh, if he beat your ass, he might kill me. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, That's crazy. Who knows? <laughs> but you know, it's like you can't. You don't. I mean, I don't know. I I would. It depends. Like it depends. Like did you go to if, jail? No, like if you're showing. Um, yes. You can't even say that, but technically, yeah. If you're showing signs of growth and that you're like, you know, you ex- exactly. okay. No, I ain't gonna say growth. You take responsibility for your past actions, exactly, and you're willing to move forward and do better. Then and you okay. use that as an example of what you don't want to be anymore. Then okay, but if you come out here, oh, it was just her. Da, 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 it's enough for me. Hell no, it's, it's enough. I'm not about to be pointing fingers <laughs> after you know beat this girl down to a pole. No. I need you to take responsibility for your actions. That's the only way I'll be able to do that. Exactly. Like, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't mind. Like she said, you got to take responsibility. You got to own up to it. And if you start showing sign and it's getting ridiculous, you're going to have to, you like, what the fuck? Like, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> <what? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I want my police. <laughs> Hello. This Stop man, playing with me. You need to go. <laughs> what is, what's that song? <laughs> <laughs> this man put his hands, hands on me. <laughs> This nigga, that shit is funny. Yo, okay. Ooh, that was funny. I needed that. Okay, <laughs> next question is, would you date a man that's established or a man that's on the way up? Okay, so I'll answer it. So with me, it's a 50-50. I would date a man that's established and I would also date a man that's on his way up. But sometimes when you date a man that's on his way up, Sometimes they don't always take you up with them. Like some some people, they get in their head like they go up and they get big headed and shit on you. Mm-hmm. And then some niggas like they already established and you come in, they not gonna have time to wait on you. If I'm making sense, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so they like their woman already. Yeah, they like if they established, they want a woman that's already established and gotta ask for shit. But if if you guys 
me personally, I would date a nigga. If I'm coming up, he's coming up. We both coming up together. Because, like, we will always appreciate each other because we both was going through it. But I don't know. Date a nigga when that's established, I got to really like you. I mean, who don't want a nigga with money? But still, it's, it's I don't know. Man, my head hurts. It's confusing. <laughs> What about you? <laughs> um, <laughs> this question. Because, if, I mean, if um, if he's coming up and he's doing what he has to do, like you can't be lazy and you coming up. Like if you say and you're, a, and what is that? I'm gonna just use an example. If you're an artist and you coming up, <laughs> you say you are going up, but you're not doing nothing to promote yourself. Your music is not all that, and you're not doing nothing to bring it up. Then I'm not I'm not gonna say what you'll help you because you know you don't even see ambition in yourself, honestly. You're not ambitious, you don't see shit in yourself. So why would I stick around and help you? But for an established person, I don't know. Well it depends how established, like is he a lawyer? <laughs> it's like, if he got um, if he's already up there, I'm sure he's gonna be looking for somebody that's up there with him and that could help build him up. But you but know, not sometimes every... you have men that would rather date women that don't because they don't want it for their money. Yeah, they'll build you like up. date you based on who you are as a person mm-hmm. and they just build you up because they love you. So that's yeah. kinda tricky. Yeah. It's tricky. It's like a fifty fifty. Cause I'm not about to help you sell your mixtape. And no, not like shit. I'm not using my savings. And then I'm... once I do all the work and I help you go up, and then you forget about me. You know that? No, fuck that. Use my savings for your big savings. <laughs> no, nigga, me fuck no. <laughs> nope, we not doing it. Hell no. No. Who? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Okay. Next. <laughs> um. I got a little PTSD, y'all. Hey. <laughs> right now i mean yeah and no i look more for like red flags if it's you like building yourself up because i done did that like stay seven years down mm-hmm. i got ptsd long story short no. if you ain't got it in you i ain't gonna beat it out of you no. so you gotta come with me. like it's gonna be very hard like today it is like i'm like i'm not i don't want to say it's gonna be hard like it love does not define what a man have. Like, if I love you and I fuck with you, it doesn't matter if you have a penny. I'm gonna, like, be there for you. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't date people based on financial value. I never did because I know what I'm capable of as, Mm -hmm. like, as myself. So it's like being in that situation for so long... Hmm. That's kind of tricky for me It's traumatized. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like... Mm-mm. And then imagine like you helping a nigga, you came up with him, and then he just leave you like, yeah, that's what I dealt like, with. That's why I have PTSD. <laughs> like these hoes be true. Like I don't watch any of shit. Watch like the so dog. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be. What's that movie? Mm-hmm. It's a movie like that with Tyler Perry. What's the Bro, movie? That um, movie where he kicked the girl out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cause she, um, girl, you dumb as fuck. Cause the hot hell with Charles and the other lady. <laughs> How you let a rich girl? Same way she tossed him in that she tub. Dumb. That's me. That's why at this point I'm a tossed ass in that tub. So you telling me the nigga got money, you wasn't putting money away for yourself? Thank oh, you. Oh, see, that's no. one thing. Thank you. I'm gonna keep me a little bit. So yeah, that's, that's, that's he coming up. I'm gonna come up too because I'm gonna put my money away. <laughs> Period. We both gonna be putting money away. Because once you leave, I'm gonna be great. I'm sure. Yes. Okay. So next question is, do you date based off personality or looks? Both. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, both. I like personality, but it's honestly, I did it a few ugly niggas. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I did. You know. But then again, beauty is in the eyes. But to of me, there was there was that was fine. fine. It's like yeah, beauty is in the eyes of the holder. Like he could be fine to me and ugly as fuck to you. That's so it's true. like. Like I both like that nigga got to look decent to go in public, yeah, but like decent. I'm not gonna say no ugly ass nigga. Yeah, no. But you know it'd be some ugly ass nigga, but they got a they swag or yeah. they swag be and on they point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like like I said, and then you end up falling in love for them, and that's it. You with an ugly nigga, bitch. So <laughs> that's it. So yeah. I say both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I say that fifty fifty. It's all based on the person. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, next question is, are you okay dating 50-50, or do you prefer a traditional style where your man is paying for everything? I I do 50-50. I don't mind doing 50-50 with my nigga. Like, it's hard out here for a pimp. Like, I don't mind doing 50-50, but, like, 
I wouldn't mind 60, 40. So, I mind. You know, like, I wouldn't mind. But Being I don't mind doing 50, 50 with my nigga. Like, you just be living for free, whole Like, what you doing? That's me, personally. But To me, time's changed a lot. So. <laughs> Not time changed. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's hard out here. Bills is high. Uh-huh. I mean, like if he's falling short, or like he need help, then I'm gonna step in. I'm gonna do what I have to do. I ain't gonna be no bum ass bitch in a relationship. No, no. Like, exactly. No, the money's gonna be there to make exactly. up wherever it's lacking. But I mean, if he's the type of person where he wants to do the whole household mm-hmm. and I just do like the motherly things, the wifey okay. things, I'm oh, down. Yeah. But. I'm going to be doing my part, too. Exactly. You're going to come home to gifts, like, random yeah, thoughts of kindness. I'm going to do whatever to make you feel appreciated. I'm not just going to have you paying bills and then I'm doing whatever. Period. It's going to be very balanced. It's so, very much. Yeah. It's like, it, it all the meals going to get cooked. Trust me. I'm going to be cooking with my food. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop playing. What about you, friend? I mean, I'll do 50-50, but if he wants to, like she said, if he wants to pay the bills, mm-hmm. like, cause there's some men that don't want their women to be paying bills. Yeah, you could take, you could take the utilities and all that stuff, but I got the big bills and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I don't mind yeah. doing 50-50 unless my man doesn't want to. Exactly. My, my man don't want to. People give and take. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I know you got. I don't have time bad. for that shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna argue about about with no grown ass man <laughs> about no. bills. Oh my god, like. The- are you it's a, it's a whole bills? big thing on social media right now. Talking about a man is supposed to pay for everything, every this, 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 this. Girl, oh, that's not please. me. If I know you my backbone, you my rock, I'm going to do my part. Exactly, I'm going to help. It's yeah. not that serious. I'm not going to be no crab, so. Period. Like, you can't be no crap me either. You my man, I can't just be taking him from you. Taking no, yeah, like, like who wanna use that yeah, nigga? Like, that's 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 man. Drive. That means you don't wanna see him go up. Exactly. If, I, if that's that man, kid's gonna get a treat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not finna trip my man. Like, like no, I'm no, finna. I'm gonna have his bag. Bitch, yeah, I got my half of the rent, babe. No, no, I'm not finna trip my. You don't trick your niggas, guy. You never no, trick your man, nigga. Like, no. Trick a nigga to take all no. Okay, so next question is, um, okay, what are your feelings on sexual exclusive exclusivity and monogamy? Huh? I'm all for it. I don't do the poly thing. That? Like, okay, <laughs> would you do? Okay, the question means like, I don't even know. would you rather have like a, a solid sneaky link and y'all just do stuff together, oh, okay. or would you rather like a closed monogamous relationship? Monogamous. Monogamous. Yeah. What is that? But you, what like is, a sneaky link. You know what? What is monogamous? <laughs> like, like, just you just said a couple words. Just you and your person. Like, would you rather? Right right now, basically, yeah. would you rather be in a relationship, or would you have a, rather have a, a side nigga? I yeah, can't do a sneaky link because I need a, my man. I'm gonna fall in love. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I catch feelings. I yeah, and then, and then, beat your mama up. <laughs> and then when they wanna go do what they wanna do, I'm gonna be the crazy bitch. Yeah. And I don't have to but I'm not that. gonna I'm lie. Gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it real. But it all depends like if, when i was single looking for a relationship at a point i was like bitch i'd rather just have a side nigga or have, rather just have a nigga on the side instead of being his main bitch but that's when i was single but then when i met somebody then we got into a relationship so i, I mean it's all based on i was hurt i think it was i was hurt yeah. yeah like bitch i ain't want to deal with niggas bitch I, we come do what you gotta do and leave no, because I, I will honestly agree with that because when I jumped out of my relationship two, three years ago, that was my mindset too. Like, exactly. I'd rather just be there than to be the one sitting in that position suffering in silence. Exactly. But it's like, now... Yeah, I want my man. My man, my man. My man. My man. I don't want to see... I need a man. Period. I catch feelings too fast. Yep. Like I said, I don't beat your mama up. That's Period. It. And when I show up... <laughs> oh, I I'm show crazy. up when I show up. Everybody show up. Oh, so, crazy. Bitch, I I'm crazy. I'm riding past the house at three in the morning. <laughs> I don't care. Boom, boom. See your party <laughs> there. <laughs> All three of us gonna be in the house together. Yep. Okay. Period. So the last question is: Would you rather be? Would you be in a relationship where the, you guys stay alone, or would you rather stay together? Huh? <laughs> okay. Would you? Be in a relationship where you guys stay separately or together. Would you rather? Would you? Do you want to stay with your man, or do you? You don't mind if he got his own place. I mean, I don't mind if he has his own place because once you live with somebody, that shows you their true colors and everything. True. And everything you don't know about them comes out. Like if they nasty, oh my gosh, 
Oh, when Jesus I get up. Christ. <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. Crazy. So I'd rather you just stay in your corner. I just stay in my corner. And when it gets serious, we could combine. But other than that, I don't know about that. You? I mean, it's 50 50 for me. Yeah, I did the living together thing. It was kind of a headache because I was cleaning up like every five minutes. Yeah, like that's because when you're having a child. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> like if we're just dating, then you have your own space. I have mine. But the moment we get like locked in for real, <laughs> but how, the how, pad has to go. How mm-hmm. long do you think you gotta wait before you and your nigga move in together? Probably like two years. Two years? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I like my personal space. No caps. Sometimes I get in my mood where I just want to be by myself alone. Just call me. I don't want to see you right now. I just want to be by myself. Mm-hmm. I'd say like a year. Yeah. Maybe six months. Move it, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I need help with the bills. I got bills, babe. Move it. Uh, like once, once you go to two years, that's like, okay, it's getting serious. Yeah. My last relationship, I moved in like after like six months. No cap. <laughs> I mean, it be like that sometimes. Like, you be... No, seriously, like, when you find a man that know what he want and you know what you want, things will be moving so fast and it's not... no, You can't control that shit because that's just how it is. Like, bitch, if you moving after... It, I know bitches that moving after one month. That's crazy. I know people that move in two that. weeks. And then when it's... Take my name off that lease home. It's time for you to go. You gotta go. But yeah, like, I know... I mean, it, it all depends. Like, it it really. All I think depends. it's just based on the person in y'all relationship, honestly. True. Based on that, it all depends. You yeah. just like to get to know them when you living together. That's it. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> That could, that should be a question. <laughs> would, you keep, would you keep your side nigga baby, or that we gonna talk about that? <laughs>